All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Um, so, come on in nice and close, Oscar. So inside of QLab, um, if you go into your settings, what you're gonna wanna look at is your OSC controls, and your, it's gonna have your current IP address and then which TCP port it's gonna use. So take note of those two things because those are important. And then the next thing is on in the settings menu, there's gonna be a MIDI tab and it should have the MIDI patch, which would be UM1, which is the same MIDI device that you have out there. So on the back of the CL5, you just plug in MIDI to the, the ports there, which I think you've already done. They're, the connectors are labeled in and out, so just plug them into the right one. Easy peasy from there. We'll make Qs and QLab, so it's real simple. We'll make a MIDI Q per, per scene that you want to recall on the console. So I'll say a new MIDI Q, and I'm going to say scene 10. Scene 10. And then I'll go into settings on the Q. Choose program change. And then the program number minus one. So if I wanted to recall scene 10, I would enter nine would be the value. Um, and then I'm gonna make one more while we're here. I'll make a MIDI queue, and I'll call it scene 11. And then same thing, I'm gonna come in here, program change, and then 11, hit enter, or sorry, it would be 10, my apologies. And what I can do is I can go over to my CL5, um, and this console's already set up with queue numbers, but you can see in my scene list, number 10 has been made and number 11 has been made, and those are the ones I want to recall. Um, just to quickly show you the MIDI setup, if you go to mi setup and then you go to oops, sorry, MIDI GPI, um, make sure your TX and RX are on program change. And then that's gonna allow the console to receive that. And if you leave this, this page up, you'll actually see that signal light flash when you get a MIDI message. So if we leave that there, I can recall scene 11. And go ahead and go show the this down there. Okay, good. And I hit go on QLab and it recalled to that correct scene. Yep. So that's all easy. So then the way to trigger, so if I wanted to trigger Q number one over OSC, I would again go to the, go to the OSC controls, get the IP address and the port number. And then inside of watch out, connect to that. I've got some code here that's sending OSC commands and it's really simple. Basically what you do is if you wanted to send a command, you'd say slash Q, the Q number you wanted to fire, in this case one, and then the command you want to do, which is start. So likewise down here, I'm going to say Q2. So if I run this, that's an OSC client that's telling QLab what to do. And now what it's doing is recalling Q number one and Q number two. If I go over to the console, you can see that Q number one and Q number two are going. So in your watch out cues, you just have to match up the Q number that you want to fire over OSC. And then in your Q lab, you want to create a queue that's going to fire the correct MIDI program change, which is then connected to the console. And that's what you're going to do.